all right everybody welcome back to another atn escape video today i'm going to be showing you how i escaped out of the cathedral of eternal night as i will mention in the video coming up uh all the credit goes to hero he was the first one to find the oob bounty on this so credit to hero i don't know if i actually used his method to get out but uh this is how i escaped and i'm going to show you how i did it so where I'm currently at in the dungeon is actually the staircase leading up to the Twilight Grove. And uh, I'm on the opposite end of the Emerald Archives. So in the middle here, you have Thrashbite, the Scornful. Uh, he's the boss for the room. You beat him, you come across, uh, and there's the stairs leading up to the Twilight Grove. Or actually, no, that, I lied. I think, there we go. Agronox, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, he's the one you want to defeat. Come up to the stairs after you defeat him. And halfway up the stairs, you're going to notice a little edge here. Once you jump on top of here, if I don't actually just, holy crap, just fail completely. Wow. All right, anyways, we're going to switch the Havoc because uh, I need to switch the Havoc anyways for Fell Rush. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come back up here. And then what we're going to do, holy moly, if I can actually perform this, goodness gracious, we're going to get up here. Now, it does take a minute to perform. As you can tell, it's not always easy. There we go. Goodness gracious. Now, once you get up here, you're going to want to build either the Dark Moon Seesaw or the Sandbox Storm Griffin. I recommend the Sandbox Storm Griffin as it actually gets you up higher and it, it's a taller structure than the Dark Moon Seesaw. So we're actually going to drop off. We're gonna back down below here. We're gonna do our drinking horn because we need to enlarge ourselves. We're gonna come back up the, uh, oops, okay. Failed that again. We're gonna go for our second fell rush because we need to get back on there. Once we get back on there, wow if i can goodness gracious what is wrong with me today are we stuck i think we're actually stuck <laughs> i think we're actually stuck no way ah so this is gonna drive me crazy okay once you get up there you actually jump on the toy just jump up and go straight out and you'll get out um i wish i could show you but I am currently stuck. I can't believe I'm actually stuck right now. No way. I've never actually been stuck down here yet. This is insane. Can I actually just get out though? Holy moly. There we go. Wow. Okay. Thank you, game, for helping me out. Throw me a bone, will you? All right. Uh, okay, we're going to do the drinking horn again. We're going to go over here. I'm telling you guys, this is not a stable ledge, as you can tell. Uh, we're going to jump on top of the toy. Woo, we did it. We're out, and then you're just going to jump straight out, and there you go. You're out of Cathedral of Eternal Night. Goodness gracious, that took forever. And there you go, and you can fly wherever you want. There's no death walls. There's no DCs down here from what I've found. I don't know if you can swim, so be careful with the water. Uh, and yeah, have fun. But uh, yeah, this was an absolute pain to get out of. So um, I will see you guys in the normal OV video coming up. Take care. Welcome back, everybody, to the Cathedral of Eternal Night. This is the OOB that we are performing in the Legion Dungeon Expansion. I'm very excited. We are currently, well, we're nowhere to be found on the Broken Isles. Technically, we're on the Broken Shore, <laughs> but we're on kind of a, a liminal space version of the Broken Shore. As you can see above us, you can actually see the Cathedral of Eternal Night above. And uh, I think it's pretty awesome. Look at that skybox. Isn't that just amazing? We got to get a picture of that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, to be honest with you, I have never actually been out of here. This is going to be my first time. Ooh, and we can mount up. That even makes us even better. Actually, let's get our new board going. Now, guys, I have never actually been out here. This is going to be a blind OOB just as much as it is for me as it is for you guys, unless you've already been out here. I have never been out here, so I don't know all the death walls. I don't know the DC. So this is going to be fun. We're going on an adventure together. Uh, this OOB credit goes to Hero. He was the first one to find the OOB bounty on this. So congrats to Hero. And uh, 
giving him all the credit. Now, I don't know if I use his method. <laughs> Maybe he'd be like, yeah, that's exactly how I got out. I'm sure he got out in another way. Uh, but as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, that is how I got out. And uh, it actually was a little, um, took a little bit of uh, a little bit of time. This OB was, took me some time to do. So it was definitely not easy to perform, but we're out. That's all that matters. Let's go take a look around the broken shore that is supposedly quote unquote the broken shore. Now we have all seen the broken shore in nighttime, but let's take a look what it would look like during the day. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So we're kind of doing a sunlit video actually as we're doing an OOB video. And it's actually going to help me out a lot because I can see the boundaries of the map here right here. And the map isn't actually very big because the whole dungeon is actually built on top and it's just like the um ah what's the dungeon i think of the howling forge Udegard keep and Udegard pinnacle i think i'm saying that wrong <laughs> that's okay uh but yeah so this is gonna be fun to explore i've never been out here this is gonna be blind let's go take a look around uh behind us first and let's go see what we can find now so far as you can see they actually do keep a lot of the island out here which is really awesome now we have already found the edge of the map, which we can see right here. Oh, look at that. It actually goes out farther that way. Oh, interesting. I wonder if we can swim or not. I'm going to be very curious because technically you're never supposed to swim in this map. So hopefully you can. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Let's get back on our mount. And as you can see, we're going to see a bunch of really awesome, just pink, purplish. I don't know this fell energy going on down here, which is really awesome. I love seeing that. And if we actually go take a look this way, we're gonna be careful getting in the water. I don't think we can actually swim. So we're just gonna hover above it. No pun intended. And uh, we're actually just gonna head out this way. And let's go see what else they keep out here underneath. Now I actually played during Legion. I played a lot of the expansion actually. Uh, and it was it was it was an amazing expansion like everybody loved. I don't know who didn't love Legion I thought Legion was great. It was a lot of fun. It was fun to have the Legion come back again I just think it was I don't know. It was a great expansion overall, and I thought they did a good job Ooh, look at the here's a cave over here Now we do got to be careful sometimes going into caves You can actually get stuck because not everything's loaded in but it looks like ooh, and we just discovered fell breach hollow as well <laughs> That's neat All right now, I'll be honest with you guys, I actually boosted my Demon Hunter because I didn't want to do the whole leveling again, so I actually paid the money and just leveled him up that way. Um, and so that's why I actually discover a lot of these places in my videos. Some of you may be wondering, like, why is he discovering all these places? Isn't he already done all this? I have, and I have, I, I technically don't consider my Demon Hunter my main. I consider him just my OOB character uh, because it's easiest to do OOB on a Demon Hunter, as you all know. But my main is actually a hunter. I've always played a hunter. Um, I just have always enjoyed playing a hunter. I like smashing my face against the keyboard. It's the best way to play, I think. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just enjoy hunters. All you hunter mains out there, uh, this one's for you. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look over here. Now, they do keep a lot of the rune structure out here. A lot of the old statues. Oh, and another cave, actually. Looks a lot smaller. Let's go see if we can take a look in here. There's a bow, and I'm assuming you fight a creature in here. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I've actually done the Legion expansion and went through the storyline. I should probably roll another fresh character and do that. It's been a minute since I've done that. And they do keep quite of all the structures out here. Ooh, look at this. And the water out here. Ah, that's really neat. So it's like the... Ah, okay. So that's actually one of the boundaries going into Suamar, the city, right? So, um... You guys remember, Suamar, there is like these boundary things that... Basically... If I remember correctly, they turn you and they morph you into uh, the, the people so you blend in, right? And I think once you go past these walls, that's what they do. But that's kind of neat that they actually keep starting some of Suamar out here. Now, I want to go jump in the water so bad because I want to go see if they do keep anything. Uh, but my thing is, 
Uh, I'm so afraid to go out here. I just don't know what's going to like make me DC or crash. Um, so maybe I'll go do that at the very end. I do want to go show you guys the island first, see what it looks like. So let's actually go ahead back out this way. But that is really neat that they keep that out here, honestly. I'm actually going to zoom in here. That's kind of a pretty shot, huh? Let's take a screenshot of that. All right, let's go head back out this way. And let's actually go on top of the hill here and go see what we missed on this side. Now, I'll have to, I'll be honest with you guys. It's really awesome having the stinky bright potion on. Having this, all this light on the broken shore is really neat. You normally don't get to see this place lit up. So it's definitely in a new light, no pun intended again, uh, to see everything. So that's really awesome. I hope you guys are hearing me a lot happier in my voice. Ever since I went back to doing things the way I intended them, uh, I just feel a lot happier about the videos, about what I'm doing with the OOB. Um, you know, I'm so happy that uh, I'm able to provide this awesome content for you guys and share all the secrets and the ways I escape and all that fun stuff. So I'm glad that I was able to go back and do this. So, I have the best community in all of YouTube, I think. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody who comes and tunes in these videos, who likes them, comments. You guys are awesome. And uh, hopefully it's a fresh start for ATN again. Now let's keep heading out this way. Now if you guys may notice, my uh, Night Elf has actually lost all its armor. <laughs> That's because I unequipped it. If you guys ever do OOBs, I highly recommend you take off all your clothes. Because you should you will be able to um, essentially you'll be able to not lose your uh, armor durability so you don't have to keep repairing everything so I highly recommend that you do that and uh, just run around your tavern now this is pretty neat because right here if I remember correctly this is actually the spot uh, to the entrance of not only the Cathedral of Eternal Night but also the Tomb of Selgaris, right? I think so. Yeah, because we're like right above it. Yeah. And so this is actually the spot where Sylvanas, sadly, betrays Anduin and the Alliance. And so normally I've actually never been on this side because I always play uh, Alliance and not Horde. And you can actually see the Horde flag over here, which is pretty neat to see. So if we actually come up here, Sylvanas is up here and she's like, hey, Screw you. We're turning around. You're on your own. And so, wow, this is actually really neat because there is no tomb here and everything's actually above. But look at that. That's really awesome to see. Normally, you don't get to see these kind of things. Now, look at this cool looking legion, legion structure over here. Can we actually get to that? Do we have Felrush on? We do. Um, Maybe. We might be able to fly over there. I hope I didn't mess up. No, I made it. Whew. Okay, that was close. So we did make it. Barely. Look at that. So we did get to the structure. They do keep this out here. It's it's pretty neat to me what they keep outside of OOBs. Because there's things you're never supposed to actually see to begin with. But there is a spot in the dungeon where you're actually overlooking a balcony. So I guess that does make sense of why they did keep that there. And that's actually one of the spots that you see. Ooh, can we actually go in this thing? Let's take a look. Oh, we can. Awesome. Structures are kind of creepy, huh? And then you got the beautiful sun <laughs> coming right outside. All right, let's actually go take a look out this way. And let's go see what we can find going out this way. Ooh, we got another big cave here. A lot of caves around here. I forgot there was a lot of caves in the uh, Broken Shore area. Oh, we f okay, we discovered... Fail Sworn Vault. So, awesome. Let's go take a look in here. And it looks like the same cave we actually saw earlier in the video. So, it looks like the exact same copy. Not too much has changed. And let's actually go take a look out this way. Now, as we adventure out this way... Hopefully, I'm assuming we can get over there. Yeah, we can just cross the water. Okay. 
thought it was like farther away than it was. I don't know why I thought that. Now we do got a lot of shipwrecks wreckage over here. And if I believe this is actually where we originally land in the Brook Shore, right? As the Alliance, right? Kind of got some Stormheim assets going on here. Look at the dead fish hanging out in the sea here. Mm. It's kind of creepy looking. And if we actually make our way out this way. Yeah, this is actually normally where we first land, if I'm not mistaken. Got a giant bonfire going. So they do keep a lot of the wreckage and kind of like the Naga. Naga looking structures out here, which is pretty neat. How much of the water do they actually keep out here? So they does go pretty far out for the most part. Oh, and they do keep some of the underwater actually. Which I'm kind of surprised. They keep some of the underwater life out there. Wow. So that actually goes pretty far back. I can actually kind of barely make out the end of the world though. You can kind of, you can, if you follow the line all the way out that way, it will go out. So they actually keep a lot more out here than I thought they would. Now, can we actually make our way up the hill here and go see the encampment above? Normally, that's where the, uh, they're hanging out. So let's go see if we can actually make our way up there. I think there was a pathway to actually get up there. Or we can just climb it. We are demon hunters after all. Or we are a demon hunter after all. Not demon hunters. <laughs> Not multiple demon hunters. You will be in the new War Within. Uh, for those of you who haven't played the beta yet... There is a talent for the new demon hunters where your vengeful retreat you if you cast it you can cast it like really quickly multiple times and you can flip like five times in the air it's insane but you have to do it all in one session because you can't like stutter them out which kind of sucks i wish you could like time them out where you did one and then did another and then did another but you have to just do them in a row but it's pretty insane how much air you get oh okay i did not expect this look at that Oh, that's neat. Okay. Can we get up here? Oh, we can, and we can actually go in there. Okay, let's actually go in there, guys. Um, let's go around here first. And you guys kind of get a great view of the uh, dungeon here from above. I love the skybox in here. Now, that's kind of one of a kind, huh? You get like a skybox. Look at that. That's really awesome. I gotta take a screen snap of that. I love the colors there with the sun in the background. Then you got the whole bell portal thing opening up. I don't know. It's pretty neat. Now, how much does this actually go back to? So there's actually some things we were missing back here. Look at Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Look at these chains just hanging down. What is that all about? Oh. Ooh. Okay. We got a bunch of chains hanging down here out of nowhere. Look at that. They're just chilling. All right. Ooh, and our music stopped. Okay, now it came back on. I love, like, the underground parts here. Awesome. Um, let's go all the way above that way, and let's go see if we're missing anything over there. I don't think we are, but you never know. So let's go take a look. Let's get back on our skateboard here. We're going to back to the future it this way. And let's go see. Let's go Marty McFly this way and let's go see what we can find. And I'm assuming this is the edge of the world over here. Yeah, it is because we're getting stopped. Can't even actually go any farther. But we can get a good look underneath here. Look at that. Give you guys a better look under here. Now, unfortunately, the cave is blocking our view. But we can go in there, so let's actually go take out. Let's go check a check in the cave over there. And can we actually go drop down in there? And I believe we can. But let's go check it out. Look at that! Awesome. I love that they keep all of this here. I love like the fell stuff going on. You know, this was a really cool expansion. I forgot how awesome Legion was. Oh, there was a pathway coming down here. Okay, could have just walked down, but that's okay. All right, let's go into the cave here. I'm really curious to see how much they keep. It looked like they did keep a lot, so. All right, what did we find? The Lost Temple. All right. Now, 
It looks like they did keep a lot back here, so... Look at that. Awesome. I feel like Indiana Jones right now. Coming in here and discovering the Lost Temple. This is awesome. I think we're going to find some treasure or something in here. Put some... A big boulder rolling after us. We have to escape just in time. I remember, actually, if I remember correctly... Uh, oh crap, we're stuck. No! <laughs> we hit the edge of the world. Oh, that's kind of a nice view, though. So that kind of worked out anyways. But anyways, guys, I think that is it. There's no more Broken Shore to explore. If you guys haven't been out here... You can <laughs> come out here, come check it out. You can definitely use my technique to get out here. Uh, have fun with it. Um, I hope you guys explore a lot of these OOBs and go check them out for yourself. Some of the stuff is really neat to see. We are currently floating in midair and I think we can get out. Yep, there we go. Just a heads up. If you guys ever get stuck like that in one of the DC, it's not really a DC wall, but it's like a floating, I call them floating death walls. If you guys ever get stuck in those and you can't move, just, um, yeah, metamorphs is out. Vengeful retreat, or you can't vengeful retreat, but, uh, fel uh, not foul rush. What is it called? Gosh, I'm losing my mind here. Um, gosh, I can't even think of the word right now. What am I thinking about? Hold on. Goodness gracious. Infernal strike. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm like losing my mind. Just Infernal Strike out, Metamorphosis out on the ground near you, and you'll, you usually pop out. Uh, that's usually how I escape out of those. Now, I will tell you, sometimes you'll be high up to a point where you can't, and that just sucks, and you'll have to open up a Blizzard support ticket and get unstuck. So, anyways, guys, I want to say thank you for tuning in to the Cathedral of Eternal Night. This dungeon was awesome. It was a challenging dungeon to get out of. Uh, maybe Hero made it easy, I don't know. But uh, if he did, I'll have to ask you. I'll have to ask him how he got out. But uh, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you for all your support again. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. I got a lot more content coming your guys' way. And I'm hoping to also have the Transmog contest details coming up as well. So thank you, everyone. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.